Just give us an idea of, of how police will be trying to work out. I mean, they probably have a quite a good idea at this stage of the identity of this attacker. That's They're right, asking yeah. the media not to publish details of the attacker. Firstly, why not? Why, what, what impact does that have if, if that identity becomes public? Absolutely, and yeah. And also, how is the investigation going to be? Completed? So I was, I was in the army, but I worked in counter-terrorism and worked with the special forces and with the Met Police on counter-terrorism investigations as well. And there's a couple of real factors. Um, as much information as you can keep constrained, um, it's sub judice effectively. You want to get a, a tight um, um, case put together when it eventually goes to court. Um, something like this, although it's an individual perpetrator, there's a very high likelihood that there are multiple um, people supporting that individual. Um, as I said earlier on, um, this is something that's likely to have been preceded by significant amounts of um, hostile reconnaissance, as we call it, pattern of life reconnaissance, um, pre-target planning, operational planning, um, deployments, and then the attack. So what they'll be trying to do is identify the network, the individuals, anyone who supported them, uh, anyone who may be hiding other people, and indeed those people that may be trying to escape the country, of course.